Welcome to Wood Gas Stove Science, where I attempt to learn the science behind wood gas stoves. This is Air Inlet Experiment Part 3. Due to the results of Experiment Part 1 and Experiment Part 2, I decided that I had to increase the diameter of the outside can. I increased the outside can from 3 and an eighth inch diameter to 3 and 7 sixteenths inch diameter. That should allow for more air to flow to the secondary ports. We still have eight holes, three eighths of an inch around the bottom. I am keeping all of the fuel parameters the same throughout all these experiments. I used one measured cup of wood pellets and one tablespoon of wood pellets soaked in heat from the yellow bottle. It makes starting much easier. Right from the beginning of the burn, it became very apparent that there was more airflow to the secondary air ports. At around three minutes on the clock, the gasification was apparent. You could actually see the flame burning up near the secondary ports, and they were starting to come out of the jets. By five minutes, all 16 secondary ports had jets of flame coming from them. This was a much better result than we had seen before. We were actually getting jets of flame. At around eight minutes, I decided to uh, plug off six out of the eight fresh air inlet holes uh, on the outer can to see if there was enough flow to the uh, can. And after doing that for just a few seconds, the flame started to gutter. And this uh, gave me the opinion that there was getting plenty of airflow through the fresh air inlets. The flame seems to be pulsing a lot. I think that may be because it's lacking primary air. I think I'll have to add more primary air holes. At around the 20 minute mark, all 16 secondary ports have strong jets of flame uh, coming out of them. It's still burning a nice blue flame, completely smokeless right from the beginning. This seems to be a great looking burn. At around the 30 minute mark, the flame started to die down considerably. Um, and as you can see near the end of the burn, the gasification is continuing uh, and there were actually some coals in the bottom. This is the first burn that we actually saw some coals. Uh, the total burn time was around 36 minutes and 30 seconds, as you can see. Uh, at the end of the burn, like in the other two experiments, I dumped out the pellets or what's left of them and uh, took a look at them to see if we could see or learn anything from them. Uh, after spreading them out, I did notice there were a lot of burnt embers on the end uh, and it looked like there was a little more ash in the pile. Upon Measuring the charred pellets, it looks like about one half a cup was consumed by the burn. The summary of this test showed a burn time for this test was around 36 and a half minutes. The fuel consumed for this test was about one half a cup. The appearance of the pellets for this test, they were charred with some ash, 
and the jets on the secondary ports, there were 16 jets. In conclusion, increasing the gap between the cans allowed for much better flow to the secondary airports. This concludes Wood Gas Stove Science Air Inlet Experiment Part 3. Please join me for Part 4, and thank you again.